So this is the first of a number of videos on ECG quick steps, which are supposed to be quick skills in ECG interpretation and ECG questions that come up in the primary exam. You need to know that an ECG will run at 25 millimeters per second. You also need to know that one large square on an ECG, a standardized ECG, will be at 0.2 seconds. 300 large squares is equal to one minute then. You find a big square interval between two R intervals. So for example, if you have 2.5, so if, if you've two and a half big squares between two R to R intervals in the QRS complex, and you take 300 and divide it by 2.5, you will have 120, and that's your beats per minute. So essentially, you divide the big squares into 300, you get 120, and that's how you calculate your beats per minute, because normally the ECGs that might be shown to you will not have the helpful uh, heart rate printed on the top of them. So the last thing we're going to look at in this video are the coronary artery territories. So you can see I've drawn the aorta, which is the aortic root at AVR. You can see V1, V4, V2, V3, all of the LAD, and I've drawn it to try to help you think about how the LAD comes off the aorta. Think about the left circumflex, comes in V5, 6, and then if you go to the left side of the screen, you see it transversing through 1 and L AVL, and that's your left circumflex. Your right coronary artery starts really up at the corner of AVR and goes into 2, 3 and AVF. Those are your inferior coronary arteries. So you can see I've written some of the territories. You've got the anterior, the lateral, the septal and the inferior. And the reason I've labelled them like this is to help you understand the territories a bit better because we forget them sometimes whenever we're looking at ECGs and quite often questions in the exam um, can say for example the person has ST elevation in V1 through to V4 which is the most likely coronary artery affected.